Right, you just showed us that spot, Westerly, Rhode Island, and cleanup crews right now are removing all the downed trees there and trying to restore thousands of power outages. Westerly, as Jacob just showed us, is where Henri came ashore. So a lot of effort being put into that area. Our Louisa Muller picks up our team coverage now in Westerly, Rhode Island. Louisa? Well, Lisa, David, behind me, there's still some ponding and some flooding here on Atlantic Avenue in Westerly. But just a short time ago, the police told me all of the roads are back open in Westerly. And National Grid hopes to restore power to the whole town by mid-morning tomorrow. That's some good news on top of a pretty messy day. Cars splash through flooded roads in Westerly. Evidence of Henri. Hours after he made landfall. Not too bad. I've seen all the other cars going through and it doesn't make it right, but um, it wasn't bad at all. It was 12 15 Sunday when he crashed into land. Relentless surf rolled into Narragansett and Henri's wind whipped across the backs of curious onlookers. A similar scene in Newport, where the trees were rocked by tropical force winds, the gusts wrecking boats and forcing the closure of the bridges across Narragansett Bay. In his wake, Henri left a slew of downed trees and power outages. Bucket trucks and linemen worked on multiple spots in Hopkinton, where police say roughly 30 streets were blocked by damaged lines and trees. Well, it wasn't that bad. It was a little windy. We had some rain. And uh, we lost power around 1130. Resident Bob McGilvery says the storm didn't feel ferocious, but worries the cleanup could take days. Because sometimes we wait three, four, five days before we get power. And longtimer Bob Malo says his power is out, but it could have been much worse. I've been through Carol, I've been through Bob, I've been through Gloria. We're still here, thank God. So the water has steadily receded here for the last several hours. We'll have to see how the high tide impacts that later on tonight. And we do know that there are about 6,000 power outages in town right now. That's about half than there were earlier today. We're live in Westerly, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.